In this video, I just wanted to share with you a solution that I came up with to solve a problem I had of running my solar panel PV wire from my foldable solar panels to my solar generator in the house. My house has a screened-in covered porch, and, and what I usually do is I try to get my portable solar generator out on the porch, run the wire to the solar panels, which are foldable, they're portable as well, and that works fine. Uh, and when I'm done, put everything back to where it goes. But it's kind of a pain to get the portable solar generator on the porch. I have it on a, I have it on a little cart, and that works great. But to get it on the porch, I either have to carry it, which is very heavy, or you leave it on the buggy. And that's kind of difficult to get over the bump and through the door. So what I've been doing is just running, leaving it in the house, cracking the door open with the cable running through the cracked open door out to the solar panels. And that's been working fine. But if the weather is going to be really cold or really hot, I don't want to leave the door cracked open. So I came up with a solution. And the solution was to basically put a hole in my house. So that actually, as it turns out, solved another problem. <clears throat> I have a Mr. Heater Buddy propane heater I use for emergency heating and sometimes other just regular uses. So I was thinking if it's really cold out and I, and I, and I want to use my big 20-pound propane tank, that will work great. But the, the owner's manual, and I've heard other warnings for the same, it says don't leave the 20-pound propane tank in your house while you're using it. I'm thinking, well, how's that going to work? How, if I can't have it in the house, will I have the door cracked open? So this hole in my house solves that problem too. Let's, let's see how I did it. So the first reason I put a hole in my house was solar charging. I was previously running the cord through the door and having to crack the door open and be very cold and I didn't like that so I decided to put a hole in the wall here. I have this little inside plate that looks pretty nice when it's not in use and on the outside I have this weatherproof box even though I'm on a covered porch I've got a weatherproof box and I can close that and to keep the cold air from going in I would just cram a rag in there and, and it does block the cold air and then from here I can of course run my port out to my solar panels here's my permanent solar panels I have set up I'll be doing a video soon on that and that's the first reason I did it And the second reason is emergency heating. I have this Mr. Heater Buddy propane heater for emergencies. And the, clear, the owner mail clearly says, do not have your propane tank in the house. And there's warnings everywhere about it. So it didn't make any sense to me when I was having to run the cord with an open crack door to try to heat the room so it doesn't make any sense. So that's the second reason I put the hole in my house. And it works very well. It's perfectly safe to use the little one pound tanks with the Mr. Heater Buddy heater indoors. It's only the 20 pound, the larger tanks that is unsafe to have indoors while using it. Unfortunately, I didn't film while I installed this uh, outlet, I guess you would call it. Uh, so I'm going to try to go back to the process and show. So the first step I did was I just kind of got a general idea based on looking outside and inside here where I wanted the hole. And then once I kind of decided generally where I wanted it, I made sure there's no studs in the way. So I used a stud finder to kind of make sure where I was wanting to go didn't have a studs. And this place that I installed it here obviously didn't have a stud. So that was the first step. Once I realized there was nothing going to be in the way, uh, I took a long drill bit like this and I just went straight out and went through the wall and outside and it drilled through the uh, vinyl siding and through the outside. Once I got that hole established and everything looked good, I used this hole saw to, mount, to put to my screwdriver and drilled two holes, one above each other here, to make the opening. Now, of course, I had to move the insulation out of the way, 
but that worked fine. And then I installed this, which I'll put a link to this, uh, where I bought this on Amazon. Uh, installed this piece here that goes on the inside. Then I put on the plate cover and the inside is done. When we go to the outside here, you can see the holes that I had drilled with the hole saw in there. And so this uh, weatherproof box, I actually bought at Lowe's, but I'll put a link to one very similar, or maybe it's actually the same thing on Amazon. And another thing I didn't mention earlier was I tried to make sure that the top of this box was right under the lip of this vinyl siding. You may not have to worry about that in your situation, but that was one thing I did try to make sure that happens where water couldn't get in there even better. So I've, I've caulked it as you see, and I think that's pretty weatherproof. And then this, this was very easy to install. You just basically, I broke out some of those uh, inside plastic pieces that are in there and then screwed it in the wall. And that was it, pretty simple. And to keep air from coming in, I just cram an old washcloth in the hole and keep the cold or hot air out. And I did test that and I don't feel any cold air coming in when we had a zero degree weather back a couple months ago. I'm sure I could come up with something better than this old wash rag, but uh, so far this is all I've come up with. I've actually got a second hole or port in the house for my uh, permanent rigid solar panels to come in to the garage. I plan on running conduit for this wire so it looks quite a bit better than it does now. I just want to make one correction to the video you saw. Uh, when I was going to drill my first hole before I did anything, I had kind of selected a general area I wanted to, to drill, and I, in the video I indicated I drilled from the inside. Actually, the first hole I drilled, I drilled from the outside. And the reason I did that is I positioned the box where I wanted it to go right under the lip of the vinyl siding, and then I drilled my first hole, and then everything else was correct. I just want to make sure we got that right. So what do you think about what I did? Uh, I'm sure there's a much better way to do what I did, uh, if you if you have a better way or a suggestion to do it better, uh, please leave comments below and I'll may try it out. Of course, I already have the hole at my house, so I've got I got to use it now. So uh, thanks for watching.